We, we are here today to uh, review a certain album, and that album is a, uh, oh wait, it's a single actually. Walk on Water. By Eminem. Featuring Beyonce. A well-known uh. white American artist from New Detroit, New York. <laughs> New Fuck Detroit. this shit. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, we're hey, going. real quick though, real quick though. A lot of you aren't subscribed to the channel, so this is just a call out uh, to you guys. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed to Jungle Beats, hit the button below. Hit subscribe. I promise you it'll be worth it. We're trying to really do big things with um, putting Australian hip, not Australian hip hop, but be a, a, a media company um, in Australia that puts hip hop on the map as a culture for us because the world, Australia doesn't really have a hip hop identity. We want to try and uh, make that happen. So hit the subscribe button. It means a lot to us because there's a lot of you that haven't hit it yet and watch our videos. But also, man, I was gonna say, nice, nice haircut. Oh, thank you, it's man. It's looking fresh, man. I thought you were gonna grow long. I, I am. It's still growing from the top, oh. but the, I gotta keep it short on the sides, like a zero. Yeah, look fresh. Thanks, man. So Eminem uh, came out with a song "Walk on Water." Any, any vibe from it? Any like, you got any idea of what we're coming into? No fucking idea. I mean, I'm expecting something. Maybe recovery-ish, because I feel like his last album did no numbers, and recovery had really good numbers, so maybe he'll try and go back to that sound, but with new school, but other than that, I know nothing. You know, the album name is out, someone just found out the album name, and then uh, Marshall, he called a fan who found out the name on Twitter, she was the first one to do it, he called her, said, oh, great job, how'd you do it, and everything, did you know that? I haven't looked up anything, man. Okay, well, the album title's out, I can't even remember it, but um, it'll be out soon. Can I guess what it is? It went recovery. It's one, it's one word. It's like some redemption thing. Recovery, relapse. Uh, it'd be re something, guaranteed. But uh, right now, Walk <laughs> on Water. 23 million hits on Spotify already. Oh, shit. So, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's go. Tell Why? Our expectations so high. Is it the bar I set? My arms I stretch, but I can't reach. A far cry from it, or it's in my grasp, but it's. Mess. It's in the fuck out on, and now I'm getting clowned and frowned on. But the only one who's looking down on me that matters now's the Sean. Am I lucky to be around this long? Cause I'm just a man, but as long as I got might, I'm godlike. So me and you are not a black bitch. I wrote steady. Woo! Tell him. Yeah, I fucking love that shit. Yo, for me. Get your phone for the lyrics. Uh, go, go, go. I reckon let's, let's go with what we heard. First of all, Beyonce, beautiful feature. 100%. Beautiful feature. She fits those keys lovely. And you know what I'm loving about this track? The minimalisticness of the, of the production. And even the, word. and even the way that he's rapping, it's different to any way he's rapped before. So it's kind of like he's reinventing himself. And the biggest thing about this track, though, is the self-doubt. We've never seen self-doubt from Eminem. Well, I personally haven't. He's always known that he's, like, he's, obviously when he entered the rap scene, like, he always sort of carried himself, and, like, the self-doubt was there, obviously, in the eight-mile period, but once he got to a stage where he was like, nothing can stop me, I'm the top of the world, I'm right. the best, right. and he's been like that the entire time until when he was talking about in this track then, that, like, when the sales declined, and when I look out the fans, like, from out there, and, like, who, who still doubt me, and um, it's true, because his last album got like fucking an average fucking review of like two stars or some shit which I think is fair because I thought Marshall Mathers LP2 was fucking terrible I mean there was still probably a few tracks on there which had his sort of deepness and had that lyricism but so much more of it was just empty and the beats were just so fucking laced and just something that just and I think he him. realizes it was very lackluster like I said he was listening to it and being like God put me in this position this is what I do with it this is what I do with this power make this music and also, like, what was another one of the good lines that he said? It was super self-reflective and self-aware. It was, which is beautiful to hear, especially for someone as big as he is. And the way that he went about it, man, like, he just 
didn't try to overdo it. Like it's still, is this, I can't see this doing well on radio though. Like I know it's got the nice soft sound, but like. I think if it is, it'll be because Beyonce carries that hook and melody so I uh, so quite, well. I kind of like that though. But it, you know, it, it's pretty consistent. It's almost reminded me of the Trump kind of, do you see that? The, I can't remember what it was called. The one we talked about Trump. That, that spoken word. Yeah, I saw that. That was fucking really cool. Almost had a similar cool. cadence uh, It did. This. Very, very so. It seems, I feel like he's definitely trying to reinvent himself and find a new way to go about it because like Kanye says, I can't make another Colors Dropout. I can't make another 808s or Heartbreak. I can't make another of any of the albums I've done. You saw the noisy images, 808s. Because yeah. every time I make an album, I reinvent myself. I fucking think Eminem's, I think Eminem's definitely trying to do that because his last album, he didn't do it. And I think through that, adversity through the holy shit people looking at me like i'm washed up now yeah you come out and kind of rise like a phoenix or you flop uh, I, based on this is giving me confidence for the next album i mean i was very disappointed by the last two sort of few so you're yet albums, to be so. con- convinced. yeah i mean i fucking i like this track yeah but like i'm not loving it it's more just giving me like yeah. a bit of a it's kind of like a kick yeah, it's kind of like he's just, he's just flicked my, flicked my knob, you know? And I'm getting like a little bit, a little bit of blood in there, but it's still, <laughs> yeah. Eminem, you flicked his knob, pause. <laughs> I, I pull out your phone, rap genius. I, there's one line I can't remember that I want to touch on. <laughs> but only when it freezes. I think that's important to say, only when it freezes. Yeah. Like these celebrities, these artists that everyone reveres and look up to, they're fucking human, just like us. You know, we put them all on a pedestal, like, you know, and look at them like gods, especially when... Ah! Continue. Bless you. Especially when, um, you know, you go see them perform, like I just did Drake, where we'll have another video on my experience with Drake. You know, the stage set was unreal, and he's almost on this stature, you know, like a god, right? And so they put themselves in this position to have an amazing experience as a show, um... And people look at them like gods, but they're human, man. You see? I feel it? like this line here is good. Kids look to me as a god, this retarded. If only they knew it's a facade and it's exhaustive. That. Was that the one? That's interesting to me. Click that. A facade and it's exhaustive. What, if, what about his career as a facade? Says? With a net worth of over 170 million, copious accolades to his name and fame, Eminem has reason to feel blessed, but in a 2009 interview, Eminem talked about his view on materialism. I've just always been a pretty simple dude when it comes to stuff like that. Just never really got into cars and flossing. I never really cared. Like, I was always the type of person that felt like as long as I make enough money to support my family with his music, that's all I really give a fuck about. And continuing to acknowledge his position in the rap game, Eminem is reluctant to accept the praise from kids who put him on a pedestal. Rap God was to show his lyrical prowess and be tongue-in-cheek about the meaning of God, but the younger generation idolizes M and his fame regardless. Eminem has commented on his unhealthy relationship with fame at various points in his career, such as 2002 on Say Goodbye Hollywood, Say Goodbye, Say Goodbye to Hollywood, and in 2010, Almost Famous. On his 2017 song, Bad Guy, M also admitted that his persona is half a facade, and the characters Matthew and Stan, the kids who look up to him as a god, are mere symbols of him not knowing what he had until it was gone. Which is... Thank you, genius. <laughs> Repeat that last line. Hang on, I'm going to get back to it. <laughs> Are almost symbols of what he was like when he was... Hang on. Yeah. Basically, the kids who looked up to him as God are mere symbols of him not knowing what he had until it was gone. Hang on, I'm going to blow my eyes. <laughs> what part of it, his character is a facade? Like, <laughs> fuck me, bro. <sighs> is it the part about pretending to stunt? And like pretend to like a lifestyle that he doesn't actually well, like. On his last album, he he talks about clothes a lot. He talks about new, like he talks about things he's never talked about before. So maybe he's admitting that like a lot of things he talked about his last album yeah. was just bizarre. Like he was just trying to like find things to talk about because he felt he needed to put out an album. Right. I think that, that could be going back to like that. fifty man. Like I feel like come on fifth. And the like, next and the next line after that was actually really good too. It's um. Uh, here it is. But if you bitches are trying to strip me of my confidence, mission accomplished. But if these bitches. Trying to strip me of my confidence, right. mission accomplished. It's basically just saying, like he said, was that the confidence? Looking out, seeing a bit of doubt on the people, and like for the encores and stuff. And he's probably sitting there going, and also like lately because because he's been getting really bad reviews and stuff for his like not just like he got bad reviews for Relapse and um and really bad ones for Master Mathers LP too. I think that all the backlash that all the internet because he's he 
he's like Eminem is also like a big fan of like hip hop in general. Like he's always like looking at new artists, looking like listening to a lot of things. Like he's not just someone that makes music; he's a big fan of it too. Because a lot there are a lot of artists out there that make music but don't listen to say a lot of hip hop. Could be a lot of other genres, but he loves hip hop. So he he's always browsing the net. So he'd always just read stuff about him, and it, it, like you said, it got to him. Mission accomplished. Hence, hence, hence why we get this bit more of an open feel for him. Hence so why far. it's walk on water. Hence why it's you know, right. I get it. Yeah, man. A good track. I enjoyed it. Very self-aware. What do you say at the end there? Very conscious. Um, Cause I'm just a man. But as long as I got a mic, I'm godlike. So me and you are not like bitch. I wrote Stan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like the little bit of arrogance at the end. Yeah, exactly. Like, come on, man. I wrote one of the best hip hop songs of all time. Yeah, you fucking did. Uh, and then you wrap it up. What? You want to wrap it up? Yeah. Eminem, Walk on Water. Uh, I really enjoyed it from a first listen perspective. I enjoy where his mind is at right now. I'm enjoying his play with new, a new sort of rhyme patterns. I like the minimalistic production. I like the feature from Beyonce. It's not like, I'm not wowed away. I'm just more excited. There's a bit of excitement in me of what he has in store for us. But I'm not getting like crazy amounts because I've been shut down by him before. Yeah. So. But yeah, it's a good track. I think it's a really good first single that really opens up into what has been on his mind and what he plans to do with this next album. Yeah, that's great. Let's start. Let's f- start a track, a yeah. first track, and we're featuring Beyonce. You know that'll get the headlines going. Exactly. Um, yeah, echoing what you said, uh, just gives a spark of what a spark of confidence to looking forward to his next uh, project, which is releasing very soon, probably now by the time you watch this video. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Jungle Beats uh, Media out. Make sure you got to hit subscribe. Um, a lot of you aren't hitting it. Now's your chance. If you watch this far, you're probably curious to see more.